Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want, I want to remind you something that is a true in the spirit and true in the physical. Hmm. When, remember last Sunday, the word of God told us, we are blessed how? Exceedingly and abundantly and how? Oh, let me, let me. We are rooted and grounded in abundance. Now we are not rooted and grounded in abundance. We are rooted <laughs> and grounded in abundance. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Because I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. I want you to catch it. Are you not tired to be poor? When I say, well, well, who's the poor? Who's the poor? Tell me, who's the poor? Poor at heart. No. no. You see, the one who's poor is not the one who does not have money. He's the one who does not have vision. Oh. For by lack of vision, my people, there is. what makes you acquire is not money, because money is in the world. What makes you acquire is vision. The Bible said that uh, if you don't have vision, you cannot go nowhere. Because it's vision that drives you to do. If you don't have vision, you will do little, and then you will stay there. Are you what I'm saying? When we say wealth manufacturer, hey, Jesus, help me with this one. <laughs> you got to catch it to take it. When we say wealth manufacturer, is you got to have visions. If you like vision, pray. So God will open your eyes to have visions. God will open your heart to have visions. See, in a Catholic church, they say all you have to do is to have what you need day by day and it's sufficient for you. But the Bible says that the righteous man live what? An inheritance for who? It means that the minimum of what you leave behind has to be at least covering 100 years. Are you following? So vision is not how you are able to do what you will do in your life. No. Vision is what you will do in your life that will stay after you're gone. Hallelujah. What I will do in my life that will stay when I am gone. That will sustain my children's Children. So since a generation is according to the word of God, how many years? No, 100. God says to Abraham, for after four generations, I will visit your children. How many generations have passed in the Bible? They say 400 years. Amen? So according to God, a generation is 100 years. So if he says your children, children is two generations. Uh -huh. Your vision has to be sustainable for 200 years. But if you can't even see yourself in tomorrow, <laughs> say, Lord, I rebuke the lazy spirit. I rebuke. I rebuke the dumb spirit. The dumb spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, vision is for 200 years. Amen. I have a friend, I always tell her, told her, I said, can you tell me where you see yourself in 200 years? And she did like you, she laughed. <laughs> because the length of the question did not equal to the length of a life. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So she started laughing. She said, ah, while I live for 200 years, I said, you see? Amen. So what can you see that will last for 200 years? 
Are you following? Now, let me tell you something. The first thing that we know how to do and we know we must do is to train our children in the ways of the Lord. Are you following? But let me tell you something like that most of the time we forget. When we train our children in the ways of the Lord, it is to expand the kingdom of God. How do you expand the kingdom of God? It's not only by prayer. I say it's not only. Hallelujah. It is by prayer and by doing. Amen. How will you do if you don't have? How? How will you do the expansion of the kingdom if you don't have? When God appointed David and his son to build the temple, they pray, but they built. Amen? They pray and they built. When Nehemiah went back to rebuild the temple with Zerubbabel and Israel, the Bible said they had a weapon to pray, <laughs> ready for warfare. But at the same time, they were building. Hallelujah. So whatever your, the Bible says, whatever your hands is appointed to, do it heartily. So visions must be for 200 years. There are companies in this world, when you look at the history, they say they've been around for 160 years. <laughs> But when you look at the beginning on how they started, nobody believed in them. For the word of God says, write down the vision. So it may what? It may run who reads it. When somebody after you come to follow through with the vision, you know Trump? You know Trump? Do you know his daddy? Have you heard of his daddy? Have you seen his daddy? But do you know that all that you see that Trump has come from his daddy? If his daddy has not built, he wouldn't have done. Whatever he did, he built upon what his daddy did. His daddy came from Germany. And they arrived in New York. Trump was born in New York. When he grew up, he found that uh, his daddy was an a, uh, entrepreneur. He was building around. And the things that his daddy was building, he saw. He started building. So today, he has what he has, but he saw it. But let me tell you something. Trump saw his physical daddy to do something so that uh, he did after him. Hallelujah. I repeat again. Trump saw his physical daddy and he did after him. I always say something. This is a man who does not need to be president to have money. Are you what I'm saying? So, you do not need to be appointed by somebody else in order to be a man. But if God himself appointed you, why would you be broke? I don't know if you catch it. His physical father did something. And his physical father has allowed him to build into something. But if our father, amen, is capable to give us abundantly, exceedingly, above all that we ask or think, then I refuse to be broke. But you cannot even have the desire to get there if you don't have vision. Like, let me explain again. You will wake up in the morning and your prayer will be like, Hey, Lord, help me. <laughs> that's, that's all you can pray. Oh, Lord, help me. Hey, Lord, Jesus, help me. Hey, Lord, I don't know what to do. When you have vision, this is how it works. You know that the end of the building is already designed, like an architect. Amen? 
when you see the building design, you know that however you put the stone and however you put the foundation, you know it ought to be solid enough to... Amen. You know you have des designed a perimeter of your building. If you see somebody in the perimeter of your building, you will know it does not belong to him. You will not let somebody dwell in your perimeter. And then you will realize after it was your territory. And now you start praying and casting. He's sitting. <laughs> be ahead of time. You can only be ahead of time by vision. <laughs> Don't help me with this one. You can only be ahead of time by vision. The word of God says that God knows the end from where? The beginning. So meanwhile, like everybody is trying to figure out what's going to happen. God knows already what it has happened. So if you ride in the wings with the Lord, you must have a vision that will sustain you, your family, and your children's children. But that vision does not come from the flesh. Hallelujah. That vision comes from above. For the Bible says every good gift. Uh, every good gift comes from where? From above. From the father of light. Where is your vision? And what is your vision? Two questions. Where? Is your vision and what is your vision? See, when you look at the word of God and then you see how the disciple came to the Lord, hey Lord Jesus, we cast out demons, we will heal the sick, they were rejoicing into the things that they have accomplished, and the Lord says, Hold on. Don't just be rejoicing over this portion. But rejoice that your name is written where? In heaven. Heaven is a vision. It's there. It's a principle. The same spiritual principle apply in the physical. If you don't have a there, you cannot arrive there. It says, set your mind on the things above. Is what makes you arrive there. It says, I keep my eyes on the goal. Amen? And I run the race. So as I'm running and I see that I have been running for long, I can feel I have been running for long, but you haven't arrived yet. You haven't arrived yet. And what makes people not arrive is not because they don't run. It's because they look where they're coming from and they're not looking where they're going at. So, oh, the Lord took me from far. Yes, but you have got to go. <laughs> Amen. So as you start now comparing the vision that is ahead of you to yourself and not your past, because your past you have left. So forgetting the things that are behind, I what? Press towards the Go to obtain the prize. Where is your vision? That was not even the word for today. <laughs> the word for today was fire for fire. <laughs> because my brother came, he says, he said, hey, prophet, hey, Sunday, 25th, fire for fire. Hallelujah. So I tell you, uh, isn't that Friday as well we do fire? Yeah. yeah. But you see, God is on there. But if your vision does not equal all greater than, equal all greater than, I'll do the, the sign again. Greater than. You see the sign? It looks like an arrow. Huh? Hold on. Equal, right? 
greater. So, and then, so you have greater like this, an arrowhead, amen, and then you have echo for a path. You know what I'm saying? Are you following? Thank you. Hallelujah. I see like arrowhead and path. Are you following? So as I'm in a vision and I am on the straight path, I can only arrive. Hallelujah. Now, because as I go, I'm always greater. So if I was greater yesterday, my today is greater than my yesterday. Are you following? So my tomorrow is greater than my today. But if yesterday I was greater, and today I'm struggling, then the echo is turning around. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I want to find myself on the side of the greater than. Say, I am greater than. Ay, ay, ay. Listen, where is your vision? And what is your vision? Is it greater than or equal to 200 years? No, don't worry. Come sit down. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, you, you started it. That's fine. Come sit down. Hallelujah. I, I was supposed to put that the bénissez le Seigneur notre Dieu. Il est venu pour nous sauver. And I see somebody went to sit down. And, but it, uh, and uh, the Holy Ghost just took over. <laughs> Say Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Fire for fire. Fire for fire. <laughs> My brother, come, come, come. Come. Charlie Kapayala do. On Tuesday, the 20th, he entered in the Jubilee. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. Listen, oh, listen carefully. Because some principle, if you don't understand, you don't get it also. Okay? Among all of us, is the first one to enter into Jubilee. Are you following? Like right here, right now. Nobody here is 50 years yet. Are you following? Amen. He's the first one to enter in the Jubilee. Let me explain unto you so you understand again. When God blesses a people, he blesses the people by his own ways and by his own might. Are you following? Whether the people be great or low, he wants to bless the people he will do by any hour. Are you following? By anyone who is available, he will do it. On Tuesday, the 20th, he entered the Jubilee. And when he entered the jubilee, he was so strong that the Spirit of God told us that we might and we need to tap into it. We know each other for at least 10 years, right? Yeah, 10 years. 2014. Yeah. Amen? Yes. Before they arrived here. And see, looking. I said, looking. <laughs> eh? <laughs> okay. Hallelujah. Watch on DC. And then after here. Whatever. 9 or 8 or 10 or is the same thing. It means many, many years. This is my point. For all these years, we know each other. Even the name of his brothers and sisters, I, I don't remember all. Sometimes 
you will tell, retell, tell, retell. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then I will remember Moise, but we forget that. But this time, I know there is Moise, Felix, Elaine, uh, hold on again. Adele, hold on again. Hey, let me get there. Hold on. Elise, Adele, Elaine. Oh, yes. Elise, Adele, Elaine, Moise, Felix. There you go. You see? <laughs> Amen. So the Tuesday, when the Lord revealed it, I told him, give me the names and the numbers of your siblings. I must call them. Ten years. I don't even remember the name of his brothers. To say how we call them. Hallelujah. But when the spirit opened the heaven, I was strengthened and received the message to call them. Now, it was night. So night that I did not call them. I did a, uh, I would call it, a uh, video recording. And I delivered the message like an oracle. And I sent to all of them. And the first one who responded was Moise. He says, surely the Lord has spoken. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We don't know each other. The only time we saw Moise and I was uh, through, through a meeting. I think once. Hallelujah. I, I saw another person who is a uh, Elaine. Who came here, I saw her, I believe, how much? Once. Physically. So Moise once through meeting, and with Adele also was on meeting, the doctor one. Elise. Elise and Moise through virtual meeting once. And Adele, uh, uh, sorry, Elaine once. I want you to follow because of the fact that he entering into the jubilee. God is making the things possible. And by making them possible, I send the message, the video to them. The brother, Moise is the first. His firstborn. His, his, uh, how is it that? Yeah, they are firstborn. The firstborn brother in the family. Was the first to respond to the message. It's not fortunate. Are, are you following? And when he responded to the message, he said, Surely the Lord has spoken. Surely the Lord has spoken. He said, Surely the Lord has spoken. And the word was, enter in the door that God has opened. Do you know how many people opened the door for the children of Israel to go out? How many? How many did God speak to do open the door? Oh, to one. Hallelujah. It was only one. It was one for... Millions to go. And I told him, whatever God has allowed in his life, I'm going to tap into it. Like, <laughs> I'm going to tap into it. You see, I don't care how it goes, goes, look like when God says it is 50 years. Amen. And he calls it Jubilee. And then he says that all things that were taken away are put back. Hallelujah. Everything that was taken away are put back. And the depth I can so. So I say in the name of Jesus, Amen. I tap into that grace. Yes. Spiritual depth I can so. Emotional depth I can so. Financial depth I can so. Amen. Oh, I call it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Everything Amen. that was in my life is canceled. Amen. Is canceled. Amen. That is not of God is canceled. Amen. 
Amen. The word of the enemy against so Amen. The spell of the enemy against so Amen. The spell of the witches against so Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless your name, Lord God. Yes. That you make a way to march. A sovragade. A way to march. Yes. And to rejoice. Yes. And to know, Lord God, you have caused Jubilee. Amen. You have caused Jubilee. Amen. You have caused Jubilee, God. Amen. I decree over that Jubilee. Yes. An advancement. Amen. An opening. Amen. A breakthrough. Amen. Ah, in the name of Jesus Christ. Where is I it? call that it to be. Yes. Bless you, Lord. Amen. <sighs> Hallelujah. Amen. 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 People of God. In the life of a man, you may, on one man in your own life, you may see Jubilee twice. It's not simple. Amen? Meaning, you can live up to 100 years. Uh, and up to 120. But as soon as you have entered the 50 years, it's not a granted. Like It's not kind of like a, you are granted 50 years. No. It is like that grace that brought you into that 50 years. You cannot look at it and pass by. Are you following? You, oh, Lord Jesus, help me. You cannot just look at it and pass by. The lepros, they were sitting. And then what happened is somebody went inside the room of the palace. And he prophesied. He was not prophesying to the lepros. Are you lo I, I, listen, listen again, listen again. Listen again. Ah, Lord Jesus, help us with this one. Let's help us. Uh, 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 I will have had a board to draw it. But anyway, the lepros was sitting over here. The camp was over here. The enemy was over there. The leprous was at the gate. They could not go in. They could not go forward. They were rejected from inside. They were not accepted outside. Hallelujah. They were here hungry. They were, yeah? Second Kings 7. They were over here. And then carefully listen. The men of God went to the king. And God spoke a release of the word. And when the word was spoken, in the midst of adversity, in the midst of blockage, in the midst of limitation, in the midst of a famine, for the Bible said, because of the encampment of the enemy, ah, the enemy has encamped around, and you cannot move further than what you are supposed to. Even when you see that you must go further, you see resistance. Until the word of God came. Somebody say, until the word of God arrived. Until the word of God arrived. They were in a blockage. I don't know how long. But I know for long. They were in a blockage. It does not go further. It does not go back. It is stagnant. But now God said, I'm going to enter the house of the king. I'm going to enter the palace. Through my prophet, I'm going to release the word that tomorrow, by this time. Now listen. The lepros, they did not hear the word. They didn't. 
But because of the word of God that was released, the spirit of might, the spirit of advancement entered them and suddenly they move and they say, let us go. It was the word that was released that caused the people to move. When the word of God is released in the season, when the word of God is released in the hour, even if you don't hear it, that word has power to cause you to move. And because of that word, they moved. And they said, ah, even if we go and they kill us, we will die anyway. Listen, vision helps you go. Vision helps you go over. Vision helps you go over the adversary. Because you know that the worst that can happen to you is heaven. <laughs> if the worst is the heaven, then the best is what? <laughs> Hallelujah. Like if the least that can happen to you is heaven, then the more is what? Can you imagine? You have no limit on it. Where is your vision? What is your vision? That day, when the Lord opened, I said, Lord, I'm going to tap into that door. I'm, I'm going to tap into it. For, for I am convinced that Jubilee is not set by man. Jubilee is set by God. You know, let me explain to you. When a person, a woman and a man who don't know each other, the man or the woman uh, violate or or, 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 or uh, I would say that rape. Amen? Even if the man has raped the woman and then, and then hurt and do all, all kind you want to say. And out of that, a child is born. Who has ordained the child? Let me say it again. God ordained life. When he has ordained it, even if the circumstances are the most bad possible, when he ordains it, that life must come. God has ordained in his life jubilee. Are you following? And then the jubilee he has ordained in his life, that even if he, even if he sleep on his back, that jubilee must come. Are you following? Are you following what I'm saying? And because of that, if you are part of it, you cannot simply look on it. You must enter into it. Your vision must be greater or equal to 200 years. Your prayer is certainly the Lord to give you the long lasting vision. It's not that you like a desire to go. But if you are not convinced that your destiny or your destination is there, you cannot move at the pace. You will only go as much as you can, but that's no vision. You know, <laughs> listen, our Lord Jesus help us. 40 years they were in the wilderness, and for 40 years they ate the manna. When the day arrived, they entered into the promised land, and they started eating the honey and the milk. Hallelujah. After you have been having the manna for so long, when God says the day of the manna is over, it means it's over. 
However, the enemy does. In everything that the enemy will do, the only thing that will happen will be the honey and the milk. Even if the enemy is hiring the strongest wizard, the strongest wizard, I said, everything that God said will be done, will be done. When the enemy is hiring the wizard, then we have to bless you. Because the door that God is opening is not a door opened by them. It was a door opened by him. And when he opens that door, unless he closes it, no one can shut it. And that God who opened the door for us through the jubilee of our brother is so that uh, you prosper. Uh, hallelujah. It's so that you prosper. I say if you look at your life and then you see the past of your life, you must understand that uh, the future of your life has more value. The future of your life and for your life has more value. So every spell that the enemy has cast will only be blessed. Are you following? The Bible said that they call unto Balaam. Balaam came and they told him, curse these people. He looked at them and he said, even if I will to curse, I can't. Because the one whose hand is upon them, that one has prevented my voice to curse. Are you following? Even when he's a charlatan, even when he's hired for such a work, I'm certain he was so known in the region for doing spell and enchantment. By the day he was hired, he came. The only thing he could do was to bless the people of God. Where is your vision? What is your vision? And let that vision from the Lord sustain thee and your children's children. Hallelujah. Let that vision of the Lord sustain thee and your children, children. There are not two God. Amen. There is one God. And that one God, when he speaketh, hallelujah, it cometh to pass. For he said, my word does not go out of my mouth and come unto me void, except it has what? Accomplished into the purpose for which I have sent and prosper into it. It does not only fulfill it. It does not only make it to pass. The Bible says he makes it to pass and prospers into it. You see, God is taking you and bringing you into the completion of something. But it's for you to prosper into it. To multiply into it. It is in that multiplication that God is allowing your children's children to receive. And the word comes out. And the heaven and the earth become witness. So God can only cause his rain to water your ground. He can only cause his rain to water your ground. There are at least 10 souls, adult souls. And as adult, the enemy may have taken away few of our stuff, few of our belonging. But the same Bible says, whatever the enemy takes away, he has to pay back seven times. Hallelujah. 
whatever the enemy has taken away, it is ordained by God to pay back seven times. And when it is paid in the day of Jubilee, somebody say Jubilee. 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 God ordained. And he said, for however long you have made my child slave, the day the 50 years have come, I commend you, either release him or die. Either release him or die. Yes, either release him or die. Yes. You have only one way out. Yes, Lord. Either you release him or, or you, you die. Either you release him into prosperity yes. or you die, he takes your prosperity. Yes. For it is one way out. Yes, Lord. When God ordains Jubilee, He ordains for only one way out. For on, there is only one way. Before the Jubilee, there are choices. Amen? But after the Jubilee, there is no choice. It is a command. You do it or you die. Somebody remember Abimelech. Hallelujah. Abimelech did not have a choice. Either who, he does it or he's gone. It's a choice. He does it or he's gone. And when God decrees it, the blessings must happen. The blessings must happen. Because he is the one who spoke it. When he spoke it, even the... Uh, How many times did the world say let it be life or the light to be? He speaks once. And he is done. God speaks once. And it is done. You got to pull your spirit into the 200th future. You got to pull your soul into the 200th future. I was listening to a man. And as I was listening to him, he's a, he's a secular man, a worldly man. The Bible says that the, the children of the wickedness are what? Wiser than the children of light. That man, the guy who created Apple, I forgot his name. He's dead now. I think he's dead in 2011 or 2013. That guy, he was sitting, received something in his spirit. He went and he told to the people, he went to a conference. He started telling them how they should involve and invest into what he's doing. And that was back in the 80s. And in the 80s, there was no way possible to imagine that in the 200, I mean, in the 21st century, you will be able to have a phone with a touch. Like, you have to imagine it. But even the imagination did not get there. Does it make sense? So, they could not even imagine. But that guy received an open. And when he received it, he received it in the time that nobody could imagine. And then he told them, I see 20 years from now, 30 years from now, that people will be doing this, 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 this. And he said, we don't have the technology to do it now. But I want you to invest now. So few people decided to invest. And everybody was laughing at them. Because they were investing into something that does not exist. 
and that cannot be according to the technology that they knew. 1980. 1999. By the time 2000 hit on, suddenly, those who invested become billionaires. And some of them invested $5,000, $3,000, $2,000. How come $2,000 become billion? I don't say million, no. I say billion. Because today, Apple is quoted for trillions. That guy was able to see and those, listen carefully, those who invested, they did not see. They only attached themselves to what he said. Because they were not the one who received the inspiration. Amen? Because they only attached themselves to what he said. When he came, they benefited. That's why I say attach yourself to the jubilee. Attach yourself to the jubilee. Your prayer from now on is the Lord to open your eyes and your spirit to deposit inside the vision that you will take into 200 years. That your children, children, hallelujah, will see. Lift up your hand and pray. Father, we call upon your divine spirit. We call upon your divine wisdom. We call upon the resource of the library of the kingdom of heaven. And Lord God, we say pour out the knowledge. Pour out the understanding. Pour out the wisdom. To cause the unthinkable to be taught. To cause the unimaginable to be imagined. Lord, I pray that the ideas that come from your kingdom, the ideas that come from your throne, that cause your children to become wealth manufacturer, I pray this, let it penetrate the soul. Let it penetrate the mind. Let it penetrate the heart. For this is the jubilee you have opened in our midst. This is the jubilee you have opened in our midst. We're entering into that route. We're entering into that path. And we let it be accomplished in the now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Somebody say, I receive, I receive, and I become. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.